hello and welcome back to another video my name is lauren if you're new wanted to start off the vlog it's been a day it's now 6 p.m i had a really slow day we just laid around it's kind of rainy gloomy outside here today but anyways i got a couple things in the mail from amazon for my trip to italy that's now in almost like a little bit over a month and a half and i'm so excited and i wanted to share it with you guys just in case you are planning a trip to europe italy anything like that or if you're just traveling in general maybe some of these things could be helpful for you so first i got this backpack off amazon everything's from amazon got this backpack i was kind of debating between the bay's weekender because so basically what we're traveling with is like a personal item which would be this backpack and then a full-size suitcase so i know i'll have plenty of room we're not doing the whole like carry-on thing we're gonna be gone for two and a half weeks and maybe if we were gone for a week and a half i could maybe do a carry-on but i'm already going to be trying to pack lightly and mix and match clothes and rewear clothes a lot of our airbnbs that we've booked have washers so we're lucky in that sense and we're like so close to being done and having everything booked all we need to book is like a rome hotel or airbnb and then our flight from rome to london because we're flying in and out of london and that's basically it and then our like little trains in between and some buses to get us from one part of italy to the other but other than that basically everything's booked and then some like restaurants and excursions that we want to do but yeah I'm getting really excited can't believe it's only like a month and a half away so this is what i went with i wanted to get the weekender bag by Bayes, but i didn't want something over my shoulder and i wanted it to be able to go on my back because i know it's going to be really hard lugging a big suitcase through the city and i didn't want something like over my shoulder i wanted it to be like secure and it also has something that buckles across your chest so it won't like fall off so the Bayes weekender was pretty pricey and this was like only 36 maybe like almost 40 dollars and it's a decent sized backpack really nice material and it has so many different pockets has a zipper pocket in the back and this also loops over your suitcase handle so it also has that feature in the back it has like a spot for like a laptop or an ipad a zipper pocket in the front and this is for like insulated so if you have like something wet or something cold it's like a whole pocket and then it has a main compartment it has my stuff in it that i bought um i'll also link everything down below but it opens up like this which is pretty massive it has a zipper pocket in the back and then a zipper pocket right here to have a charger stick out and this is really hard to show but i'll have this linked and then on the bottom it has this zipper pocket for like a pair of shoes that you can put in here great backpack honestly i'm really excited it comes in different colors i just wanted the tan one it might get dirty but it's a nice material and i feel like it'd be easy to wipe off and then everything else that i got i asked over on my instagram story what people did when traveling to europe and those places when it came to like doing their hair i'm okay with natural hair on me like it's kind of fine but i prefer to style my hair so i wanted to be able to bring a blow dryer and i'm not we're not staying in all hotels like we're staying in airbnbs and they don't always provide you with a blow dryer so and i didn't want to bring my blow dryer or any of my other items because i don't think that they're dual voltage so i went on amazon and i got a bunch of dual voltage hot tools that are like $30 and below. I think the straightener that I got, that's a travel straightener that's dual voltage, it was like $12 or $15. So really affordable stuff. And if it broke while I was there, I wouldn't care. My blow dryer, my straightener, I would care if it broke because it was like over $100. So I didn't wanna risk anything like that. And this would be just great to have because I plan to go to Italy more in my life. And this would be just great to have just in case I need it again. So I got this blow dry brush, kind of like my Revlon one, which is cheap, but I was looking at the Revlon and I, I have it and I don't think it's, people were saying to not bring that to Europe. So 
I bought this one, dual voltage, and I think it'd be really easy to style because it's like a brush. I don't need to bring like a round brush as well. I got this dual voltage curling wand, just a one inch one by Conair. And then I got like a mini straightener that's dual voltage as well. I think it's like really tiny, which is like fine. So the tinier the better, it takes up less room. I got an air tag to put in my luggage. I made it a point to not do like connecting flights because I was like worried about losing my luggage and everything. And this is just a precaution. I got some of these adapters. I truly don't know if I'll need these adapters, I think. But I also got a voltage converter as well. And this is good for UK, Europe, and like uh, USA and Australia. So it has like a bunch of different switches on it. So you can switch to the different countries that you're in. And then these little adapters, I got two of them. If you have like any tips for traveling, I've never been to Europe. And um, if you have any tips, will I need these adapters? I feel like I will. And I feel like I'll still need a voltage converter even when the hot tools are dual voltage. So I got it anyway. And then if I don't need the voltage converter, I'm pretty sure I'll need the adapters. So that stuff, I have no idea what I'm talking about with that stuff. So I also got this reusable lint roller. I was kind of like thinking ahead. It has the paper over it or the plastic over it right now but you basically run it under water maybe add some soap and let it dry and it's sticky again so i thought that would be very helpful to travel with and then lastly i got this camera cover this is my new camera i mainly film on my old camera that has a crack in the screen because it still works fine it just has a crack right there and um, i bought this thinking that this screen would eventually fail and it hasn't a year later but i love having both cameras so this is my good camera this one has some dust or maybe like sand something dirt in the lens and i only notice it when i'm filming outside if it's like at the sky or something that's kind of like a clear background like you can't tell in this type of background but if i'm like filming outside you can like see this like black little speck at the corner and i don't want that for italy or any photos so i'm taking this and i got this little it's just like a silicone cover but i feel like it would kind of protect the camera when traveling and also comes with like a little cover to cover the lens but i want to take really good care of this camera i take really good care of my cameras and basically all of my stuff but just wanted to add like a little extra precaution so anyways that's everything that i've bought so far for italy i think that's really all i need and just wanted to share just in case you're traveling but um, right now, Christian and I are about to actually leave and we're going to the Grand Bohemian, which is in downtown Orlando. They just made a, or added a rooftop pool bar area. And I'm so excited that Orlando is starting to add places like that or more places like that in the city because it makes it a lot more fun having all these new restaurants and places to go to. So just gonna be like a little casual night and i'll obviously bring you guys along i'm gonna change i'll share my outfit when i put it on i think it's just gonna be like jeans and a top something really basic but we're gonna head there i'm so excited okay this is what i'm wearing to the rooftop just a brown skims fits everybody bodysuit these abercrombie high-rise jeans these sandals and then this bag but this is the fit i'll take a few clips while we're there.
I look like a sweaty mess right now. Christian and I just spent like the whole last like six or seven hours at my brother's house and he's still there detailing his car. He just detailed the whole inside and outside of my car and it's actually a dream. I don't think my car has looked this clean since I bought it like three years ago. But um, now I'm at my dad's house since he lives really close to my brother's house. Um, I got a new license plate and I don't know if they, I don't know why they did this. I had like a, is it safe to show my license plate online? I don't really know. This is my old license plate. I got it renewed. I'm covering up the sticker because I don't know if it's like valid till next June. And when I renewed it, I tried to renew it for two years and I had this, I had it renewed for two years. So I tried to renew it, re-renew it for two years because it was just a lot easier. And they refunded me the money and said that my license plate was reserved next year kind of crazy i didn't know what that meant i don't know if someone like said oh i want this license plate because my license plate is custom i got it when i got this license plate before i got into ucf um when i graduated high school in like 2013 so i've had this license plate for like 10 years but now i have like the black one the black ucf license plate yeah so i have like two valid license plates now and they just sent me like a new license plate with a new sticker on it and a new registration so i don't really know what's going on like my dad my address is still at my dad's house because it's just easier before like as i'm just like renting um so a lot of my like important mail comes to my dad's house it was just weird because he texted me he's like your new license plate is here and i was like my new license plate like i didn't order a new license plate so i don't really know why they changed out maybe they're just like discontinuing this style license plate i don't know i mean i like the all black license plate christian has a custom one too it's the black one and i always really liked it so now i have it but yeah so i came here um i'm gonna go to target right now i really can't wait to get home and shower i need to finish laundry since we were there all day i was literally just hanging out with my brother and christian just like watching him outside so i'm was sweating all day i'm gonna go to target because christian's 30th birthday is on wednesday and we're not really doing gifts this year because we're saving for italy we're going to italy in a month and a half so we like both agreed this year like for our anniversary we just like went to dinner like spent time together but we didn't do gifts and for our birthdays we didn't do any gifts because we're wanting to put that towards the trip to make it the trip of a lifetime but i want to get him like a little basket with like maybe like a little like visa gift card to buy himself lunch that day and like maybe his favorite candy and stuff like that. I also got like a little banner off um, Amazon. I'll probably insert a picture of like what the setup looks like. It's gonna be really small, it's something huge. But I got him a little banner that says like 30 never looks so good and I'm gonna hang it from our two little like lights that hang down over our center island. And then he'll just like wake up to that because he wakes up after me and I leave for work before him. So he'll just wake up to that little banner and like a little basket with some stuff in it. Just something small but meaningful because I want him to feel like appreciated and um yeah so I'm gonna go to Target while he's like finishing up that go home finish up laundry and that's about it just got out of Target and Christian's like on his way home so I wanted to quickly do a haul in the car I got this basket to put everything in and I also got some stuff for me I got some mouthwash I got this I use this on my eyebrows to keep them in place because they're actually really curly and they don't 
stay with anything besides this and I saw that they had an invisible one and the one that I use comes out kind of like a, a milky white color and sometimes you can see it if you don't like rub it in really well or get it through each hair so when I'm in a rush sometimes it's hard because you can sometimes see it in the light or in the sunlight so I wanted to try the invisible one because I'm basically out of my other tube and it lasted me a year and a half like this lasts forever and it's super cheap so I use that I also got I remember when this was so popular on social media everyone was getting shampoo customized to their hair like shampoo conditioner things like that so I got the function of beauty shampoo I usually use drugstore shampoo but I wanted to try this I got the straight hair version I feel like I have in between straight and wavy hair but I just went with the straight one because I feel like it's more straight than wavy so I got this one and then I got more body lotion I got the hemp's plant collagen one and then I got more deodorant I use the boy deodorant and then I got an onion for dinners this week and then for Christian's basket I got this little thing to put in the bottom I think I'm gonna try and blow up some balloons to put around the basket in the morning his favorite chocolate bars I got two of those I got some gum for him. I got two. I didn't know which flavor of gum he likes. I can't, I don't remember if it's like the dark blue or this color. So I got him both. He loves like Swedish fish or like any cherry flavored gummy candy. So I got that. He also really loves these. So I got him like a bag of minis. And then I got him these gummy cherries because he loves cherry flavored candies. And then he loves these um, sweet tart ropes. So I got him those. And then I got him this card. It's kind of girly. But honestly, all their cards weren't that great. And I wanted to get him one that's 30. And the banner says 30 looks good on you. So it kind of goes with the theme, even though it's like super female. I don't know. And it just had a sweet inside. So yeah, that's what I got. And then I'm going to put in his little basket for him to wake up to on his birthday. Okay, just got home from being gone all day and it's almost 9.30 and I'm gonna quickly put away the clothes in the dryer and not even start the other load of laundry that I needed to start and take a shower and go to bed, wake up for the work week and just do the laundry during the week. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this video right here Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.